Welcome to Hoffman Photography. My name is Rainer. I'm a photographer and photo instructor. Layer blend modes are an interesting tool when you are working with layers in general. But it seems that many people don't know about them. So let's change that. In this video we'll just have a look at the different layer blend modes and what they do. If you're interested in the math behind layer blend modes, there's a link in the description that explains it all. But let's get started. I've got this image as my background layer. On top of that, I have this layer with two color wheels and a grayscale. The default setting for the blend mode is normal. In this mode, all opaque pixels of the top layer are, well, opaque and simply block the view of the corresponding pixels on the background layer. Nothing new so far. As soon as we choose a different blend mode, the luminosity and color values of the pixels on the top layer are combined with the corresponding pixels on the background layer according to certain mathematical rules. In some cases, this simply means that the values are added, subtracted or multiplied. But in other cases, the combination of the values follows much more complex rules. Again, if you want to know more about the mass of layer blend modes, just follow the link in the description. For now, let's just go through the different blend modes and see what happens. I'll call out the names of the different blend modes. This is the normal one. Darken, Multiply, Color Burn, Linear Burn, Darker Color, Lighten, Screen, Color Dodge, Add, Lighter Color, Overlay, Soft Light, Hard light, vivid light, linear light, pin light, hard mix, difference. Exclusion, Subtract, Divide, Hue, Saturation, Color, Luminosity, Average, Negation, Reflect, Glow, Contrast Negative, and erase. Now, that was fun, wasn't it? But what's the purpose of all this? Well, for once you can create some cool graphical effects. Here are a few examples.
If that wasn't your cup of tea, then here are two quite practical applications of blend modes. Suppose I wanted to insert a moon into this Irish landscape. Now I need to get rid of the black sky. There are several ways to do that, but I probably would use a layer mask. That would be easy enough in this case. But as the topic of this video are layer blend modes, I try to do it with a suitable layer blend mode. You guessed that much, I think. So let's see. This one's normal. Let's try darken. Nah, not really. Multiply. No. Color burn. Again, no. Linear burn. Not at all. Darker color. No. Ah. Not too bad. Lighten, this one is called. And let's try the next one. Screen. Now, that's looking good. Granted, it's not the same as using a selection or a layer mask, as the moon is not completely opaque. But for this purpose, it's quite okay that the moon gets this bluish tint. And here's one of my favorite blend modes. Let me switch the visibility of this text layer on. And you see, we've got this text on top of our different layers. Now, if I set the blend mode of this text layer to erase, then the text knocks out all layers below the text, making the text transparent. If I want to limit the effect to, say, the landscape with a castle, I just drag the text layer on the layer in question, and there you go. And now it affects only that layer. Let's drag the text down a bit to here. Okay. Now, when I now place this texture layer under the landscape layer and switch the visibility of this layer on, and voila! The texture shows in the text. And I can move the text around, of course, and I still can edit the text. Let's try that. Yeah, great. And all this without having to select anything, no selections, no layer masks, no nothing, just by selecting a suitable layer blend mode. Great, I like it. I hope this gave you a rough idea of what you can do with layer blend modes. Now it's your turn. Give it a try. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned.